What's up internet? Ant here and today we're going to take a look at the Reaper miniature learn to paint core skills base uh, base coat washing and dry brushing kit so as for those who are unaware uh, during Gen Con and Game Nerds Day I uh, ended up purchasing a lot of games that included miniatures which is fantastic however most of them are unpainted and I was like, oh man, we went to the miniature set and I took a look over at uh, the tables that were there and all the figures were painted and they looked fantastic. So I'm like, well, how the hell do I get into this? And I found this kit online, figured I'd give it a crack and uh, we're gonna go through this kit today and sort of see what's uh, involved with it. So here's the box here, it's a pretty hefty box. Nice little paints and brushes and it includes a little bit of a, a few miniatures um but let's get this thing open right excellent we've got our instruction kit we have a couple paint brushes what do we have we have a number two and a number zero miniatures. I'll bust those open in just a second here. A little help card and then a whole bunch of paints. So great. We got a, this is a dragon white. Oops, let's see if I can get this one focus. Dragon white. Core colors. Oh. There we go, blade steel. What was this one called then? Polished, polished silver. A mountain stone. Pure black. Desert sand. Naga green. Leather brown, harvest brown, candlelight yellow, and last but not least, dragon blue. Let's bust into this miniatures box real quick. feeling. Let's go first up. We have an orc figurine. Oops. There we go. Nice details on there. Wicked looking shield. I also, for this venture, ended up purchasing this citadel, like miniature holder. Let's see if I can stand on this stood up here, which will help me paint. In the long run, this one looks a little bit large for our purposes, but still pretty neat. Cool. And then let's take a look at the other miniatures in this box. We have a knight with one hell of a sword and shield. Look at that armor kit, pretty cool. There we go, solid. Some pretty heavy plastic too, so that feels pretty good in my hands. And then last but not least, we also have a skeleton archer. There we go, great, super long bow. Cool. And that's everything that's included in this kit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to bust into this and start painting. These brushes look pretty solid too. Here's a tip to this guy, to these two. So I will continue with the updates on my progress with learning how to, uh, I guess, paint miniatures. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you like the content. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.